Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeet and you are watching my YouTube channel. Now, I am hiking at the moment and hiking is one of the most healthy hobby that makes you fit. I would recommend all viewers to do hiking, running, walking, swimming or general exercise to make you fit. So now comes towards the main topic uh, which is also one of the most important and common of thalamic disease. So this 10 years old male patient presented with complaints of uh, watering, uh, burning sensation, gritty sensation, foreign body sensation, photophobia and red eyes with red eyelids for few weeks. So on slit lamp examination, the posterior eyelid margin was normal, but there was erythema, edema of the anterior eyelid margin with increased amount of oily scales and greasy crusting of the eyelashes. You can clearly see. Now, disease was more marked in one eye. So I diagnosed this patient uh, with uh, anterior blepharitis and it was seboric. Anterior blepharitis though sometimes uh, can present with combination of both seboric and staphylococcal varieties and it's, it's sometimes difficult to differentiate between the two conditions but in uh, staphylococcal erythema and edema of the anterior eyelid margin is more marked um, and there are hard scales, uh, colorets uh, encircling the lash uh, bases um, and also you can find uh, flectanular uh, keratoconjunctivitis uh, as well. So here uh, the disease was mild and there was no flectanular um, keratoconjunctivitis so all types of blepharitis are also associated with some degree of keratoconjunctivitis sick or dry eyes and also you may found you may find demodex mites with blepharitis as well now it's a chronic condition and patient should be counseled for lifelong lead hygiene. Lead hygiene is the most important aspect of management. You can see the other eye with a milder disease. Now lead hygiene, what is lead hygiene? Lead hygiene include warm compresses, eyelid massage, the vertical massage, to express the waxy meibomian secretions uh, that is done in the posterior blepharitis and horizontal massage, horizontal cleaning of the eyelid margin and lashes in the anterior uh, blepharitis. Warm compresses two to four times daily, they soften the adherent scuff and scales and warm the meibomian secretions so warm compresses helps in both the varieties anterior as well as posterior blepharitis eyelid scrubs with wet washcloth and baby shampoo helps to clear away scales and debris that have accumulated on the eyelid margin of frequent face wash with clean water also tell the patient that uh, continue the eye hygiene even when blepharitis resolves because it can recur any time for anterior blepharitis topical antibiotic ointment once or twice are useful for symptomatic relief for two to eight weeks oral antibiotics like doxycycline azithromycin are given in patients uh, of uh, meibomian gland disease with associated rosacea topical weak steroids during day and ointment at night is beneficial to resolve symptoms due to inflammation and for dry eyes topical artificial tears three times a day are also added so that was all about the blepharitis especially we have shown you the anterior seboric blepharitis variety and i hope you have learned something thank you very much